Mm -hmm. The someone today was really, really powerful. He did a very good job. Yeah, it's all right. We just try our best. Yeah, uh, you know, we just um, God leads us, and then we just we just try, and that's all. <laughs> did you say try? <laughs> See, my nephew here has a natural talent. <laughs> What is your respect, Dickie, when he was raised by the two most wonderful women in the world? <laughs> Please. I'll take my hand, Master. Okay, it's alright. Okay, so okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. Hi. Okay, take Thank care. You, God bless you. God bless your heart. Right. Yeah, God bless your heart. God bless your heart. Thank you. Oh, the, yeah, God bless your heart. Yeah, Bye. thank you. Bye. Bye. Well, then, how's the family? Bye. How's everybody? Thank you. Please say me well to your neighbor. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Sister, don't be a matter. I'm not cooking today. What's the meaning of that? As the eldest, I leave the cooking to you. Not cooking today. As the eldest sister, I am going to Show me what you want to show me. You have to give today. Ah, madam, good afternoon. Well done, ma. Did you enjoy the service? That's a wonderful sound. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> we thank God for that. Hi, Ifna. Hi, good afternoon, Pastor. Good, good. You enjoyed your service? Oh, yes, I, I did. Oh, good, good. Brilliant. Then, why did you sleep through her puppets? Why did you sleep through her puppets? Mom, I... Oh my, um, Mom, I wasn't sleeping. Um, I, I don't think she was sleeping. She probably might be in a deep thought or something. Yes, that was exactly what I was doing. Oh, you see? <laughs> it's a... I see her, Mom. Much. Silly girl. Come on. Go and drop me off. I said go and drop me off. What is wrong with that woman? She's so ill-mannered. But, but, seriously. Are we invisible? She didn't even acknowledge us standing beside you. But come to think of it, isn't that woman up to 45 trying to dress like she's 22? Don't, don't even mind. I don't even know why she's still going to church. As if her, her daughter even knows God. Okay, God, okay. Um, excuse everything. me. But um, she's old. Excuse me, excuse me. Um, we just finished the service right now. It's be, it's good for us to take our blessings home. Right. Huh? So we don't uh, soil it. Right now, I would... um. Pastor. I've wrapped up everything. Oh. Good day, Maz. Good day, Chica. Hey, how are you? Will you be doing anything else? Uh, nothing at the moment, but just take my Bible up. Okay. Yeah. All right. Have a blessed day. You too. Bye, Bye. Now, back to you, Namdi. Yes. Can you just tell me what you're doing the whole of Sunday that will not give you time to have dinner with us today? Hmm? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? <laughs> Wait, come on. Actually. Whatever I have to do today needs my urgent attention, so I have to go there and then give it to it. 100%. Come here. Mm -hmm. I'll bribe you. I'll bribe you guys. Okay? <laughs> okay, I'll see you later. Bye. Don't talk too much. That is no bribe. <laughs> Don't talk too much. This, you, you people always let this boy get away with all. I need to see him every Sunday. Let him down. Let him down. Let him down. I'm not nagging. I'm just... You should know him. Just wondering why you're sitting here smiling. <laughs> smiling? I didn't realize I was smiling. Well, you weren't smiling, you were cheesing. Oh. Why don't tell me what's going on? Well, not really. It's just like, it's just that I'm in, I'm in a good mood, that's all. Ah. Mm -hmm. Something new, huh? Please, just, just hold it. <laughs> so how, how, how may I help you today? I just hope you're not here to tell me something new about my life, like, like you always do. Actually, I'm probably about to spoil your good mood. And how would you do that? Okay, your aunts are outside. They look secretive and agitated. I don't know what's going on, but they told me to let you know that they're waiting for you out back. 
What, what are they waiting for me for? Why are they here? Oh, I do not have to see them. My aunts are just so up. Uh, anyway, I, I just don't have strength for them right now, sincerely. Okay, like I said, I don't know what's going on, but I have an idea. What? Why don't you go down and meet them and then you probably get all the answers to your questions. I say, well, I, I guess I'm going to do that. I'll do that. But um, that means I'm going to head out and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. And do not complain that I, I'm leaving the office a bit early, yeah? Okay. Okay, take care of yourself. You are. Oh God, stop hmm? it. Hmm? What is all this you are wearing? What is this? What is this? Stop it. What is this? It's supposed to mean. <laughs> what is this supposed to mean? This better not repeat itself. Hey, 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 hey. Excuse me. Hey, hey, hey. Chica. Are you okay? Huh? Check her. Fine. Are you sure you're okay? I'm sure. Didn't you hear the lady? Yes. She said she's no. fine. This here is business between you and me. Now, does that give you the impetus to manhandle her like that? Huh? Look here, man. Now, listen. After Namdi. On that direction. Namdi. And this is my church and my premises. Do you understand? So, you are her boss, eh? What? The one she's always trying to please while neglecting her duties as my fiancé. It is you. Williams, please! Hmm? It is you. Pastor, I'm sorry. Williams, can't we do What is this supposed to mean? Let's go with this later, please. You're lucky this is early morning. Because I care less about Jesus over here coming to save the day. This better not happen again. You feel me? Okay, 
Um, you know I wouldn't just not say anything, yeah? I know you wouldn't be past telling anything if you didn't. Okay, so can you now... Can you talk? Not really, but... Since I know the question won't fly with you... I can only say... It's not as bad as it seems. Oh, really? Because it seems pretty bad. Chica, very bad. Williams gets like that from time to time. Mostly after a night of drinking. Night of drinking? Now, if I may ask, for how long have you guys known yourself? A year and a few months. A year and a few months? And you've been dealing with that? For that long? Chica, come on. Now listen, I would, I would not only advise you as a pastor, but I would advise you as a friend. You see, you've got no business engaged to an unbeliever, let alone in an abusive relationship with them. It's unethical. Your concerns are too deep. Let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you. How did your day with the fire go? What a switch. <laughs> what a nice switch. Well, if you... If I would say, uh, the date went well. It went good. She's, she's fun to be with. But that's too well. And what about your aunts? What are they saying about it? <sighs> my aunts? You see, Ifuna is the only prospect in the horizon right now. And my aunts would rather I marry my cousin than marry her. <laughs> but that's their own problem. They will have to deal with that. Because I've made up my mind to, you know, take Ifuna to their place this Sunday for dinner. <laughs> your regular Sunday dinner? Yeah, sure. Why not? At your aunts? Uh-huh. Oh. You like drama in your life, don't you? Oh, why did you say that? Here. Okay, what was this for? Holy oil. Yeah. You need the whole bottle if you hope to have dinner go with no problems. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Chica! You're such a comedian, I never knew that! Well, How could you, how could you do that? My guest is waiting for me. Thank <laughs> you. Oh, so should I put it on my forehead or put it in the meal? <laughs> Chica, oh my god. <laughs> dinner was supposed to be for just us. The fact that I had to invite that lady is what I can't even fathom. Uh-uh. If Dina was so private, what is Rose doing there? Well, sister, I thought I'll, I should just invite her over. B besides, I'm sure when Namdi sees her, Namdi gets to know her, he will like her. I thought we'd all agree 
that before we, 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 we pair Nandu with anybody, we will all sit down together over dinner, draw up a list and choose the top three. Exactly. So what's going on now? Why are you all were busy making our list? I was busy making things happen. Besides, you all know Rose, don't you? Mm. But we hadn't agreed on her yet. Well, hello, ladies. What are you all doing? What's happening here? Please. For crying out loud. You are a minister for Christ's sake. I wonder why you should allow that lady pour herself all over I am like not that. allowing that lady power herself over me. Then why did you invite her in the first place? I oh. thought this was supposed to be our time. Oh really? Mm -hmm. So how come that other lady is here? No, I wanted you all to meet her. Come on, Namdi, look, on a serious note. It looks like you're not thinking about the 20th Christmas celebration coming up. Okay, fine. I know this is September. But come on, honey. I mean, can you just imagine yourself going for that celebration with Ifunaya over your arm? Oh, really? You mean like, uh, you mean like this? Hmm? It looks ugly. Oh. Well, um, I'll have to go. Only you heard, anyway. Thanks for the meal, anyway. Who made it? Oh, well, as usual. Hey, <laughs> I made it. you went on a dinner date. I didn't know that you were home already. I beg you. Forget that food. You didn't show up again. And this is the last time he stands me on for real. But lie. If I can remember, that was what you said the last time, right? Say it, babes. I'm trying to find me a husband to take care of me. So I can get the hell out of here. Wait, oh. This one, where you the carry face? How's the dinner? Not only the Nandi's nosy aunt treat me like an outcast. They bought some horrible looking chick and invited her to dinner to hook Nandi up with her. Oh no, they did it. Oh yeah, they did. Are you sure you know what you're doing? I mean, it seemed like you're failing him. See, if Naya, I hate to say this. But what if he's using you to get everyone off his case? I know that it's so hard for you and everyone else to believe that Nandi wants to be with me. Yes. I'm just ready to take things to the next level. So you're going to let his aunt treat you like that? Chemile, you know me better than that. Nandi's aunt got it twisted. If they think the nasty attitude can run me off. And that dear homely, horrible looking chick is no competition where I am. Everyone knows that, including you. Wait, though. I still don't understand why you want to be a preacher's wife, though. No, no, no. Yeah. Mm -mm. Jamelia, I don't just want to be a preacher's wife. I want everything that comes with it. I want the money. I want the power. I want the respect. Yeah, the respect, especially. Namdi, Namdi is so sweet. He's loving. He's wonderful. And most importantly, <laughs> he's good looking. You know that good looks got me. <laughs> I know. The truth is, you're playing with fire. Yeah. You know what, girlfriend? Don't be surprised when the wedding invitation cards start rolling in. Don't be jealous. I told you. Me? Yes, you. Jealous. <laughs> me? Too. Yes, darling. I don't die. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. From what you said about those women, they would rather set the church on fire before you walk down the aisle with your boy. 
Thanks, Jamelia, for the vote of confidence. I'm your girl. She's oh, a girl you can't Thank you very Not much. Not an ordinary girl. She's a girl you can't resist. A beauty to behold. If a nanya, an idol to the man. A figure of an African beauty. If a nanya, if a nanya, if a bunny in a cho, in a cho taya. If a nanya. Planning an eventful night? No, I just um, came to pick something, you know. I'm just checking out some things in the store. So, um, tell me, how is the planning for the Christmas celebration going? Beautiful. Oh. Um, I was just thinking um, if I could um, join one of the committees, you know. <laughs> mm. Yeah. That's what they would always say. Wait, um, Avera, do you have a problem with me? Ifunanya, look, I know your history. I want the best for my nephew, Namdi, and definitely not you. Listen, it, I just honestly think it is left for Namdi to decide. Look, we know your time. You like seduce men into getting whatever you want, and we can't let our nephew fall for that. If <laughs> Naya, were you always this perfect? Yes, I, I don't mean to sound in a sarcastic way or try to spite you, but honestly, I think everyone deserves a second chance. I can change, yes, I, I can. Well, sorry, I, I have to go now, okay? I came to buy some baby oil. <laughs> so, you useless girl had to go to come late to my house after I told you, sis. Is your coffee? Auntie, I said I was sorry. I had a church committee meeting and I told you. I'm sure you're also sorry for killing your parents. Especially your parents. Auntie, why are you treating me like this? You know I didn't kill my parents. You are ah! right? Who gave you the guts to challenge my words when I'm talking to you? Don't you know that a child, a child whose mother died at her delivery is a witch? I don't blame you. If my brother had not insisted you stay a while in this house, by now you should be roaming the street where you belong. Nonsense. Let me hear you talk next time when I'm talking. Have you saved the data for the upcoming Christmas celebration? Yeah, um, although I'm still wondering why you're sending them out three months in advance. <laughs> you know, in life, in life there are battles that are worth fighting for, especially when the auxiliary committee of the church are refusing to carry out the, the message, you know, earlier than this. You know, it's, it's, it's a battle that is not even worth fighting for. Have it. Until we are working as the you know, head of that committee, yes. It's a bit dicey. Um, I have the list. And I'm doing the main notes today. Oh, really? You already started with the Christmas celebration already? Wow, that's good. That's nice. Ouch! Is that, is that anything that the matter? I'm fine. I'm just a little sore, but I'll be fine. I've been having these muscle cramps for some time now, but I'm going to see the doctor. Has Williams touched you? Tell me the truth of late. Did he hit you again? Chica, you know you can count. Actually, 
is my aunt. So, you know, I might come across you as a very weak woman now, but with all this, I'll be fine. Trust me. one in the afternoon I went out, came back and you're still lying here? Listen, Jamelia, I am not in the mood for this at all. I am not, please. What is wrong with you? Why didn't you clean up this, up this place? If Naya, don't you think it is high time you get yourself a job? I mean, you've been off a job for like a month now and you don't seem to care. Why? seduction mode last night and it didn't work on Namdi. Oh yeah? There hadn't been a man yet who passed the ultimate seduction. You can say that again. Uh, maybe because he's a pastor. Oh, come on. Jamila, he's a man. I, I was just trying to take things a step further and make him sleep with me. Wow. He would have been eloping to Las Vegas with you by now. Jimla, do you know the saddest thing? I told my own mother about taking my relationship with Namdi serious. And she bluntly said that Namdi would rather turn gay than marry me. Hey! Now, wow. <laughs> Imagine my own flesh and blood saying that to me. That is why I have to prove all those haters wrong. I would do anything, I mean anything, to get Namdi to get married to me. Even if it's getting him by force, I would do it. Oh, God. Hmm. Drastic times cause for drastic measures. I've got it now. No, no, I mean, no, 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 that is extreme. What? That is your problem. You're so chicken hearted. You can sit in here like some mad woman and keep waiting for a miracle. You sure be needing one. Do you know what you're asking me to do? It's like doing the impossible.
reason why Inan does not deserve all this. I'm sorry. Who are you? My name is Deborah. Inam this girlfriend. Oh, Deborah. Oh yes, I think I've heard about you. Um, you are the mentally what? girl. I mean, the one that has a, a mental problem. What did you just say? The retarded low life. Did you just call me a mentally no, deranged girl? That's what you are. That was why Inam the dumped your silly ass. I don't in blame you. Place. I don't blame you. How do you blame yourself for being a retarded idiot? You're such a cheap get out of here. Do so you remember your mom is a street orca? How yes. dare you call my mother a street orca? How, How dare, dare you? Out so? Look at you. Yes. That's a slow life cheap mom. Why are you, you talking about like where, where you come from? Like come right here. Like okay, get out of my house. Don't push me. Get out or else. Don't tell me I'm gonna push you again. I'm gonna push where you again. Where you coming from? I'll push you again. Don't you get I'm gonna push you again. Did you call it a house or a crowd? Don't worry. I will deal with you. Where is she coming from, her bed? And you? Hey! Where are you hey. from? Come, babe! Go and get your little silly stuff out of my house! Look at her! You know what I'm not going to see for this country? Oh my goodness! See these short ones! Oh. Where did they give up my bed? Where she be? Fool! Or you are not married, it's not my problem. 
It should be your own problem. After all, we are not here to discuss your love life. But all I know is that at the end of this celebration, we all will be here to deal with the consequences and repercussions of this population. It's all I know. Good. You can make it taste fine or otherwise. But this is the last time I'm going to stand with you or sit with you and discuss my personal issues. Please. The reason why I'm here is to actually discuss our preparation to making this double celebration grand. Until we are now. That is exactly what I'm here to, 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 to listen. Nothing otherwise. Okay. That's what I'm interested in. So let's start discussing. Okay. This whole marriage thing is getting me old. <laughs> Sorry, I laughed. But the sooner you find the one, the sooner they'll leave you. Don't join them too, please. You want to join them? Either. No, you know, I'm just messing with you. But I think they're trying to use this Christmas season to find someone for you. But you don't do anything until you're ready. Yeah, I know. I'm, 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 I'm happy at least to find someone that understands me. Yeah. How? So. You know, I saw we connected. You're just like the rest of the men. No good men I've ever dealt with. And who is this trick right in front of me? Um, Deborah, could you please lower your voice? This is the house of the Lord. I'm lowering Jack. You think you cannot just call me? I'm trying to mess me up. No. Excuse me. Maybe I'd better leave you to. Oh um, no no. You're better. Check it. You're not gonna go anywhere. Just wait. Miss Deborah here will be leaving like soon. Yeah. I'm going nowhere. I think everybody needs to know that your pastor is a D O G. Dog. Yes. Dog. What is that thing is going on here? Thank you. Until that day. I'm here to teach your Jack Lake nephew a piece of my mind. To let him know he's not gonna mess my emotion up and just toss me aside. Well, um, excuse me, Deborah. I don't think I remember what I did to lead you on. But I just gave you a lift because your car broke down. That is it! We're born then! You prayed for me! I am a pastor, remember? I pray for everybody. I do. Baby, did you take your medications today? Medications? Uh, please, uh, <laughs> so you know Deborah? I was taken sweetheart. Did you take your medication today? I told mom, I don't want to take that mess though. No. It makes me drowsy. I don't want to be drowsy. And I need my right side to stick up. Dogs like Enamdi. I thought I found a man. I never knew I found another dog. Jesus. Dog. Call mama, okay? Don't call mama. And please, calm down. Calm down. I, I want you to go downstairs with me and tell me everything that my nephew did to you, okay? Let's go. Go, we have come and push you down, George. tried to fix Namdi up with some crazy woman. God, but I said I'm sorry. Sister Daddy, you tried to fix Namdi up with a crazy lady? She's not crazy. She has bipolar disorder, that's all. What difference does it make? She's crazy like I said earlier. Her mother said she would be fine as long as she's taking her medication. And ever since I've been seeing her, she, she used to be a sweetheart. Does that raving lunatic look like some sweetheart to you? God, I can't believe what you're saying. Enough. 
all of you, enough is enough. From now on, there will be no blind dates, no carefully orchestrated um, meetings, nothing and nothing at all. Have you understood that? But, no, 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 but, no, listen. Nothing, no meetings, no anything. I know you guys will go behind me and try to fix up anything emergency or any meeting in my own concern. Please do not. Do not try to join me up with anybody. I will find myself a wife. And if I cannot, then it's probably not meant to be. Do you understand? Orgedi, do you understand? And now listen, I'll be going back home. And if it's not urgent, if it's not that urgent and pressing, I do not want to receive any phone calls from you people. You! It's why you don't go here to what? I don't need to listen to that. You can't just sit back and listen to this thing. You need to find the but not a crazy woman. Mr. <laughs> She's not crazy. The better. Yeah, right. Oh, Gadi, would you marry her? Oh, she's crazy. You, as less crazy. Oh, oh. She's crazy. <clears throat> Oshita, I'm so so excited to have finally met you. My brother here has been telling me loads of stuff about you, but you know how bank work is. I don't even have time for myself. Oh, I'm sure he's been telling you lots of good stuff, huh? I'm sorry to disappoint you, sweetheart. But I don't think so. What? Yeah, yeah, I got you. He's been telling me a lot of wonderful things about you. Yeah, yeah. That's what you all say. Let's work it out this way. Williams is my only brother. I mean, if he wasn't telling me good things about you, there's no way I would have honored your invitation to be here to have dinner with you. Williams, isn't that so? I guess. Well, that makes sense. Um, but Morris, you seem like a good guy. <laughs> How come some nice girl have not kidnapped your heart? I mean, marriage. You know, I'm um, sweet that I'm not as lucky as my brother Williams. Uh, okay. <laughs> You're right, I agree with you. Morris, you're going to have to excuse me. It's time for us to go home. I'll be back. Be careful, brother. Please be careful. Shameless slut! How dare you! Flirting with my own blood brother! How? Flirting? Listen to yourself! Just listen to yourself! This will be the last you ever lay those filthy hands of yours on me! Come back here! You bitch! I said come back here! How dare you walk out of me! Look, if you walk out, don't bother coming back! Nandi, I think we have something you might like. Um, we just wanted to just with you guys a little bit. <laughs> if Nanya, I can see that you're getting a little more serious with my nephew here. Well, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> that is good. Now, do you see him as someone you could get more serious with in the near future? Oh, come on. Nandi, you're my cow. No, no. Listen, it's, it's just, just... It's no problem. It's, it's fine. It's, it's really fine. <laughs> because Nandi has never wrote anyone. Hmm? Uh, excuse me? Please don't mind my sister, Ogadi. You know, she's a very mischievous one. All she's trying to say here is that our nephew Nandi is such a descent calm and lovely boy, if you know what I mean. Yes, I, I know that. And if you know that, then why are you trying to play games with him? What, what in the world are you talking about? <laughs> Did your little pop tart here tell you she's married? Yes. What? Yes. She's been married for three years. 
to a man in prison who has been doing his time for armed robbery. It seems you've been doing some digging. Sure we did. Little man. Um, um, wait, wait, hold on. What in the world are you talking about? <laughs> Ifunaya, are you married to someone? I mean, are you married to someone in the prison? Well, if your aunts had got better, they would have found out that I was never married to anyone. My cousin stole my birth certificate and my driver's license and got a marriage license in my name so she could marry her convicted boyfriend. Oh, come on. Please, spare us this your cock and bull story for crying out loud patronize us with a more believable light than that. And if you had done better, you would have realized that I filed paperwork to the police and the marriage in my name was annulled. Yes. You know what? I have proof. I have paperwork to that effect. Okay? I have proof. I'm sorry, ladies. I'm really sorry that you had to go through all this to protect your nephew from me. Oh, it's fine. I totally understand. I have to do all this, man. Sorry. the internet guru here. You should have dug better. I 
I love them. I, I can't I can't throw them off. Mm -hmm. Of course, I cannot do that. Yeah. But their character, attitude is so out of hand. I know. And this started like 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 way yeah, back. So not now. Listen, I understand that you have a very important job. You're busy taking care of everything and everyone. You need someone to take care of you. You know, I think you've had enough of this. I've been, I've been telling you that. Yeah. Well, I've been telling them. Mm -hmm. You know, I just always tell them. Yeah, you always tell them. Is wrong with it. Everything is wrong with it. I'm a man of God. I can I can preach something and do another. Do you understand? Huh? Not in the first place. If I am, how did I get into this? Here. How did I get in here? Easy, darling. Easy. How did you get in here? You know. You asked for it, and I gave it to you. Yes, darling. Last night was hot. <laughs> Let me alone. God help you. God help your life. God help you. God help you. God help you. Wow. It was fierce. Laugh my great tiger. You tore me apart. <laughs> okay, I'm going. I just came to check up on you. Oh. Okay, send, 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 send this to you. Send that. Well, um. What what happened to your leaving? My leaving. I mean, leaving Williams. Oh, um, I'm working on it, but honestly, we had a long talk, and he's agreed to change. So has he has he hit you again, like lately or something? Not really, but it's just that I'm torn. See, I used to be really in love with Williams, but I don't know anymore. And even though he's trying with each day that passes, I'm wondering more and more what I ever saw in him. Well, um, don't hesitate to always come to me if you have any problems, yeah? And the most important thing is that you are a daughter of Zion and you deserve certainly much more than that. Do you understand? Much, much more, more than that. Is that okay? Yeah. Sorry. Right. God bless your heart. Thank you very much, Mr. Okay, bye. What do you mean? You keep your greetings to yourself. And see, but I told you I was going for my youth program after work. Exactly what I mean. If you know the best thing for yourself is to go back to where you're coming from. Please, please. Please, Auntie. Where will I go? Chica, don't allow me to help you. Please, where will I go? You don't know where you're coming from. Where are you coming from? You know exactly where you're coming from. Get your bag and leave my house. 
Please remember my mother, your sister. Please don't do this to me. Okay. <laughs> Chica, leave my house for God's sake. Are you going to help me? Leave my house and hide it off of you. Please, lose it all. Please, please don't do this to me. My all threw me out with just a few stuff. I don't have any money on me right now. Please help me even if it's for a night. Why are you bugging me? Go call up your bloody friends. I already tried that, Williams. But to no avail. Besides, I don't know too many people in this town. Well, I seem to be a man of my word. And you are warned that the minute you walk out, there is no coming back. Good night, my lord. Williams, please. Please, Williams, please. Hello? Yes, Chica, how are you? I'm sorry to call you this late. You don't have to apologize. Go on. My aunt threw me out of the house. What? Where are you? In front of your gate. Oh, my gate? Okay, I'm coming out. Life here, what? Life here. Anya, life here. Life here, dear. Life here. I'm so sad to see the dreams come and hold this book. I know that there's the big mistake. Williams, my fiance, rejected me. And the funny thing is, Williams made me give my life to Christ. How? I don't know. How? When we first met, he was a born again Christian. Until he reunited with some friends. I introduced him to smoking, drinking, and in fact, completely turned his life around. Well, I, I understand. Like, um, like you said earlier, God doesn't make mistakes. All William needs now is just God's touch. God needs to just touch his heart. And I'll, I'll pray for him. I'll just, I'll just keep praying for him. But you have to just be strong in all of that. Please. Hmm? No, no, no. But I'm Jenny, she don't want Azina. I can't work with you. Okay. Now you might have breakfast, okay? Haven't you? I said, can I go to the girl? Want to eat it? No? Is that your I am 
tired of this. What is this? Calm down. Just hear you say calm down. Hey! I cannot calm down and I won't calm down. Calm down. Listen, I am sick and tired of playing this understanding girlfriend role. I am tired of it. Technically, you're not his girlfriend. Shut your dirty mouth! All I'm saying is that I am... I, I am tired. I am tired of playing this... patient, sweet girl. I am tired of it. I mean, it's one thing to understand that he has a woman living with him. And it's even worse to know that she's taking his time away from me. I, I am tired of this. If Naya... If Naya... You know you were never really understanding. You just knew you didn't have a choice. Shamilia, do you know that you're not you're not really helping out here? Okay, okay, okay. You're really upset, yeah? But what good is that to you? I mean you're losing your edge. If Naya, you know how this said us before. <laughs> you need to step up your game. Yeah. Because if Namisha, by now, I will not park into that house, Tete. In fact, would all have been sitting up like one happy family. <laughs> no, listen, I don't understand. What do you expect me to do? Just show up in front of his door? No. You had better come up with an excuse and get your butt over there before she plays up with you. Oh, my man picked me up and I need a strong arms to protect me. You know, Jamelia, ever since I have known you as my friend, this is the only sensible thing you've said ever in your life. <laughs> You're right. I should go there. <laughs> yeah. And smart enough to know that you need to get out of those baggy clothes you're putting on. Go get something sexy. Yeah. And flip my hair back and forth. <laughs> Get out. I am, John. I am. I'm coming. Come on back here. I'll let you know you're here. Oh, uh, uh, I don't bother, okay? I can tell him myself. Thank you. Oh, sweetheart. How are you, darling? I'm fine. I'm okay. What are you doing here? I just dropped by to say hello to you. I know that you're kind of stressed. <laughs> well, Sorry. Um, as you can see right now, I'm, I'm just, I'm headed to bed, so why didn't you call? <sighs> I'm so sorry, I'm so stupid, you know. I was at the neighborhood and I decided to just pop in to say hello and know how you're doing. I should have called, right? Yeah, I'm stupid. But it's okay, I'm here now, so how are you? I'm fine. Um, you know what? Mm -hmm. Can we just see tomorrow? Right now, it's, it's, it's night. Oh. Let me just go to bed. Um, Wendy. I am pregnant. Yes, I am pregnant. Pregnant. You're what? You're pregnant? I am. You're pregnant for who? <laughs> for you, of course. Oh, God. Two home tests. One blood test with the doctor. I, I thought about having abortion, but I couldn't just bring myself to do it. You know, it is murder, and I'm so scared of committing one. Namdi, I'm just thinking of going away and having my baby. I don't know. I don't know. Pregnant. So what are we going to do? Um, uh, um, okay, I'll, um, I'll see you tomorrow. Just, just go. Let me sign up myself right now.
Are you okay? She's pregnant and you have to do the right thing, yeah? I wish you and um I wish you and Ifunyanya the best. Just give me a couple of hours and I'll get myself and leave. Why are you going to? Why do you have to leave? Stay and be the nanny. No, wait, wait, wait. just right now I have to really take care of them so can we just see like not now tomorrow or at oh, I know baby <laughs> I truly understand I know that you have to digest the fact that we are expectant parents you know expecting our babies I really do want a girl I know that you want a boy <laughs> it's alright darling I'll just let you be it's alright okay Thank you for understanding. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Oh. You need to look into the body. But I want a girl, you know. Sorry. I know that we have to start planning for us. Child's friend and everything. Okay? Bye! Bye! <laughs> What are you doing? I'm going to stay with the church member. I'll find me a place to stay until I can get money. Someone you don't even know. Beggars don't get chosen. Besides, it's just a while before I get my own place. Oh, come on, you can stay here until your place is ready. Of course, your place is ready. I don't want any explanation. Oh, come on. Chica, I do not want you to see me like I'm lying to you. I am not lying to you. I really like you, Funaya. But there's this aura of uncertainty about her that I still can't decipher. Please. And that is why I told you uh, that I didn't even know if she's the one. You are not sensitive to sleep with her. Sleep with her. Yes, I, I actually, I did that, but I, I, I honestly don't even know how I ended up there. Well, regardless of how you got there, you have to deal with it. So is it now that point? Where they say you will punch your soul. Yes. Do you know how much I love you? Thank you. Listen, you can say it in a kiss, thank you. Suchiata. Taurariata. Reverenta. 
Namde. If Ifunaya is pregnant, so am I. I mean, everybody is in that trick she's, you're messing with. Man, don't call her a trick. Of course she's a trick, and she's tricking you. She couldn't do any better than, I mean, fake up pregnancy. Now tell me, were you in the middle of um, some kind of arguments when she bloated out the news? No, not really. She was a bit upset because uh, Chico was in the house. Don't you be a freak. Uh, you don't know the sneaky ways of women. I mean, Funanya is not an exception. Yes. Well, uh, what if she's saying the truth? I mean, have you considered that aspect? Yeah, it's possible. But on a very rare, rare chance that she's saying the truth. Mind you, there is no law which says that you must be with her just because she's having your baby. I must take care of my responsibilities. Oh, that's good. Good. Uh, so, you've decided to marry her? Considering she doesn't have a job. Then, then let's not now. What is it? Hello. May we come in, please? Possibly pregnant with our nephew's baby. <laughs> yes, I am pregnant with Anandi's child. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. That means very soon you're going to be part of our family, whether we like it or not. Or not. I guess so. <laughs> you know, for the interest of that baby, I think we should all try and get along. Don't you think so? I couldn't have agreed more. Yes. So I guess you will understand if we um if we give you this. Um, what is this? Oh, oh a pregnancy test, darling. Just to be sure you're really pregnant. Oh my goodness. You know what? I've had it all. I am tired of this. Get out. Get out of my house. Wow. I think it's just stupid pregnancy test with you. And get out. That must be in Namdi. You know, I called him on our way here to join us. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my goodness. You people are just... What is going on here? What else? What else do you expect? Your aunts are messing with me. That is what is going on here. What in God's name are you doing here? Namdi, all we want is for Ifnaya to just take a pregnancy test to prove to us that she's really pregnant. That's all. At least that way, she'll become part of our family's sister, right? Or to prove the lying bitch who she is. Uh, why, why, how did you know she is pregnant? How did you know about the pregnancy? Oh, 
it doesn't really matter how we found out. But we're here to prove if she's really pregnant. Look, honey, we love you. And that's why we're doing this. We want to make sure she's the right woman. It is not in your power to determine who is mine or not. It's in my powers and God's power. You know what, Nambi? It is not even worth it. I will take the stupid pregnancy test. And you know what? I'm here to prove you wrong that I am pregnant for Nambi. That you will leave me the hair alone! You do not have to do that to impress them. No, that's... It's about... I will do it, alright? I will do it. So they can leave me the hair alone! Leave me alone! What is this? Do it. Do it. Wait a minute. Just give me one minute. You were having premarital sex. Just wait. Without any kind of protection. Have you never heard of condoms? Don't say that. Don't. Must. Must. It's none of you people's problem. Oh, no. It is my problem to carry. You lied, Nandi. It is our business. Nandi, we loved you. We love you. It is our business to protect you because we love you. Oh, you want proof, right? <laughs> proof, 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 right? This is proof. Can uh, somebody explain this to me? <laughs> exactly you... what I've been trying to tell you, Nandi. Nandi, I am pregnant. Yes, I am pregnant. You know what? I know the next question will be. Is she really pregnant for Unamdi? Yes! I am pregnant and I'm ready to take a DNA test to prove it! I'm sorry, I, I, I feel sick. Please, where's your bathroom? Thank you. Okay, Jenny. Um, yes, sir. You're not the one for me? What is all this? Huh? Now, this is the last time you people will do this. Do you understand? You have to stay completely out of my business. If not, if my family refused to do that, I would have to put you out. Uh, you will turn your back on your family? Of course I will tell my especially you. You, especially you. And I think you people owe Ifuna here an apology. Oh no. All of you. We do not owe Ifuna any apology. I think I said if you are a liar, she's a stone cold liar. If you are, you can lie. What? That she drew the line. Huh? In pregnancy tests, hmm? one line is always lighter than the other. Or oh, the same color has the, like, the test line. Now, I suspected something fishy. This is, I, I knew something was wrong somewhere. I said, I had to go to the bathroom to ease myself. Lo and behold, what did I find? I found this. <gasps> I found the pen lying on if Naya sink and if Naya is a liar. You are insane! Yes, you not listen. Hey. hey! The red pen does not show that the pregnancy test was doctored. Does it show? Oh, uh, maybe not. When you run water on a true pregnancy test, it does not sink. If Naya does it. <laughs> Sister, have you forgotten I'm a nurse? I know a real pregnancy test when I see one. If they are denied. See? <gasps> oh! I... <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> so, you could stoop so low just to grab a man? I wouldn't have to do that if you could just leave me alone, okay? What is your problem? Can't you just let Nandi be with the woman he loves? They are they're trying everything under the sun to make sure that I leave you. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to break off. Oh, please don't let them do that to us. Please, it's a nice cry for that. For Nanya. What the shit. I can't believe that you could stoop so low just to grab a man. <laughs> I, I won't have to, I didn't have to do all this if you guys would just let me be, but no, you wouldn't do that. And please don't listen to them. I do care about you and that is all that matters. Don't hear them. Don't make them do this Leave, to leave us. him alone. Do not do this. Leave, leave him alone. And do this. <laughs> and don't let this happen to us. Please just, just give us a chance. I mean, they're, they're lying. They're lying. I don't... Don't worry, we're 
Get him on your behalf. to do than to go and fake a pregnancy test. Hmm? No matter what you do, Nandi will never look you away. He will never! So take that to your desperation somewhere else. God, I even cost the very day I went to all the pens trying to bring it. Please, ma. Shut up! You go out there and look for your miserable mother. You hear that? Go and look for your miserable mother. Just look at them. Two boys alike. Flogging together. It is. Hey, no, 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 no! This is absolutely no time for all these tears. Oh, no! You have to get in and by fire or by force. What do you want me to do? Jamila, what do you want me to do? I've done everything. I've done everything I can do. I've done it. I am tired. I'm tired of all this. I'm really tired. Did I hear you say you're tired? Yes, I am tired. You have two options then. Either you sit in here and cry all your life out, or you go out there and fight for your man. If I am. Use everything. I mean, every strategy you can think of. If you want to be so respected like you said, then right now, Namdi is the only option. Get up. Go back to work. The battle is not over until it's over. Oh, God. God. What is this? Tiri san tiri man tiri him tiri. Yeah, you can. 
ordinary girl. So much for the sweet approach. You never intended having me in your life in the first place. I mean, I, I knew that there was something there until that stupid chica walked into your life and said that she wanted to stay there. I mean, was it a way of just getting your money needs fulfilled? Huh? I mean, did you ever think or did it ever bother you that giving you my body means anything to you? Now listen to me. Now listen to me very carefully. I just got caught up in the loss of the flesh which I shouldn't have done in the first place. No, I can't even remember whatever that happened that night. Oh, please, tell me all this nonsense, whatever. Don't sit here and play the whole year down pastor behavior with me, okay? You are nothing but a small damn snake. Don't That's what you are. And let me tell you something. If you think I can sit here and play with a woman's emotion, you must be kidding. God, I can't believe this is happening. Oh my goodness. You can just say it's over because you think it's over. Now listen, don't remind me of the woman's con. And do not even try in your life to make this ugly. Oh my goodness, ugly? Yes! <laughs> you are kidding! You are kidding! I'm you know kidding. why? Because this is only getting started! What is so getting... stay with it! What is getting started? This! What is getting... This! Now, be very... Like, I'm not understanding this. <laughs> I'm serious. Uh, you're a friend. Yes. What is there to understand? We are drinking very expensive drinks. Mm -hmm. This is their latest drink on the rack and very expensive. So we are celebrating. <laughs> what are we celebrating for? Didn't you say he didn't take you back? No, he didn't. So why are you acting like he just hit the lottery or something? Well, darling, we are celebrating for my son to become the first lady of the church. Didn't you say that not only did he refuse giving you another shot, but he was involved with another woman? Oh. That chica babe now. Please, can you just stop talking about her? She is a nobody. Please, Jamelia, don't spoil my evening. Please, I beg you. Okay. Okay, Miss Naya. Mm -hmm. Let's get serious. Can you tell me what is going on? Stop beating around the bush. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. My name is Chris. I was wondering if I could buy you two lovely ladies a drink. <laughs> well, as you can see, Chris, we already have our drinks. I know you do, but I was hoping to, you know, take a moment of your time and get to know you. Thank you and no thanks. We are fine, okay? As you can see, we are having a very private conversation. <laughs> Do you mind? No. No. Okay. I'm sorry, ladies. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Have you lost your mind? Did you see how cute he was? Sweetheart, I've got myself a real man. Hmm. This whole new level of confidence is so creepy. Cause the old if Naya would have jumped at the chance to talk to a man as fine as that dude. You're not telling me something. What is going on? <sighs> you know what? Um, I have this shady secret. <laughs> a shady secret? What's that? Oh, no, I am not telling you this one. No, no, no. Mm -mm. I'm not telling you. Hey, what's up with this Jess Bond style now? You know, listen. Okay, I'll tell you this one. I have the secret that will ensure that the good pastor does things my way. You're playing games or something? Are you setting him up? No, God forbid. I can't do that. No. I am not setting him up. Oh, the thing here is that God sent me this nugget that will ensure that all my dreams come true. Are you serious? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Oh my God. <laughs> well, darling. What's going on from your slumber? Seriously. 
Mm-hmm. Sure, I learned it from the best. Yes, you are the best. And I learned very well. <laughs> so let's have a toast to that. To the first lady of the child. <laughs> She's a girl you can't review. Not an ordinary girl. She's a girl you can't review. Oh, Nandi. You don't have to sound formal. Especially for one who has seen an intimate one. Don't even go there. Do not go there. <laughs> well, okay, I um, I know what you're worried about. You're worried about your little secretary chica coming in here and that's what you're worried about, right? Have you got any important reason why you're here? Oh yes, sweetheart. There is a very important reason. You know, I was just hoping and praying that you fall in love with me, willing me. No, listen, I have not finished. Okay, listen. You were actually on your way there before something beyond my control happened and stopped it. But you know what? I have decided to take matters into my own hands. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase it. I have decided to have you however I can. What does that mean? Well, it means that when your little secretary comes in here, you tell her that you've decided to give our relationship a try. And you go back to your congregation and tell them that God has directed you to follow your heart. Yeah. I'm sorry if I am not a doctor. I would have helped fix what fell off in your head. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, you didn't just say it. Oh, sweetheart. Listen, I am part of this Okay? I am so thankful it is a problem. You know, I really hate that, that I have to do all this. I truly hate it. But you know what to say? A girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. Oh, no, baby. Oh, baby, why are you moving away? Now, listen to me. And listen to me properly. It is over between us. It is completely over. So, what part of it have you not heard? Is it the it or the over? Sweetheart, it is not over and it can never, ever be over. No, it is not over. You know, I can't wait to see the look on your congregation's faces when you tell them that we are together. We've never been together, we will not be together. Mm -mm. And I do not want us to be together. And I hope you also do not want us to be together. No, 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 that is where you get it all wrong. You know why? I happen to hear one of this, your down on knees section with God. You talked about this, this cute thing that you have. God, I was so shocked when I did a background check on you. You don't want anyone to know about that, do you? So sweetheart. I would suggest that you do what's right for you and do the right thing, okay? Thank you. 
Thank you, Lord, and sit down exalted. In Jesus' name. Amen. Sorry, if I am, please. What? What did you just say? Oh, I, I asked, I asked God to bless everyone. No, no. The other part of the prayer. Oh, the part of the prayer. Um. Well. I am Monday. You get to know. Yes. We are getting married. Yes, we are trying not, so I am officially his fiance. So I am an extension of the family. Uh, sorry, what what in the world does this whole thing mean? I, I don't understand. It's like ABC. It means that we are getting married and I'm part of the family now. That's what it means. <coughs> Can you explain to us what exactly is going on? Oh, um, Nandi and I have decided to work things out. Um, if and I, and I uh, are together. Yes. Together? Yes, together. Yes. What does that mean? What part of uh, together don't you understand? It's in the dictionary God. It means that you will no longer be close to my man anymore. Yes. And it means that we will be leaving your companionship close to us. We can stay far from our lives. That's what it means. Is this true? Of course it's true. What else were you thinking? Nandi, I asked you a question. Oh my God. Nandi, listen. Can you just explain what is going on here? I thought we had gone past this nonsense. Uh, Auntie, we decided to... Hey, shh, shh. I was talking to you. Oh. Uh. See, as I said earlier on, I am going to be part of the family. I'm going to be under the umbrella of the family. So you have to just get used to it. Alright? Yes. We are going to work things out. And that's the way it's going to be. If, if Naya, I swear to God Almighty, I swear on everything I love, you can never, never, never be part of our family. Never. Oh, for me. Oh, well, well, if you say so, darling. But you know what? But I just hope the two of you are not here in pursuit of 
a welfare check because if that is the case then you'll find it a bit difficult this time pastor actually we came to find out what is going on if i may ask are you really engaged with if nanya of a woman deacon of tony you of all people question my manhood because i do not have a woman and if I may remember, you particularly question my competence in leading this church on the same note of not having a woman. And even I haven't pushed forward for my for my for my for my sack out of this church. So I believe both of you have gotten what you wanted. So there is no need to go a bit further than this. Pastor. It looks like I'm getting all this wrong. Yes, you are getting all this wrong. The truth is that, yes, we wanted a first lady, but not the likes of Ifunaya. Exactly. I repeat, exactly. not Ifunaya's likes. You not her likes. You are just there. Huh? You see, uh, 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 Pastor Nam, I didn't mean to disrespect you. Woman. No, but it's so disrespectful no. because that is how I, I, I feel right are now. Are you lounging, Brian? Walk out. You have been avoiding us all week. I swear to God. If I wasn't born again, I would have... And I want to ask the three of you, and you particularly, and Joe Biamaka, have you installed any gadget here or, or any... Uh, camera here that, that notices my coming in and going out of this office? Yeah? Look, listen. I am not here to play with you, okay? Funny man. Look, we are here for answers. And we're not going anywhere, honey. Until we get them. Yes, Nandi. Do you know Chica Quits? For crying out loud, you broke that young lady's and chest out of church. <sighs> now you tell us you had a bad reaction to a fool or something. When you agree to stay with that she devil. Oh, ah, Jesus. It's worse than a she devil. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> yeah, we need it. Yeah. No, 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 you said I need it more. On the knees of I bind you, I cast out the demon in you. I bind that woman out of your life. Amen. I, I deliver you in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. <laughs> I'm getting married. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. What wow. do you have over there? Look at this. Beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh gosh. Oh, this so is beautiful. beautiful. Oh my goodness. Yes. I love the headpiece. I ah. love it. Oh, it feels good to get married. <laughs> well, girl, I told you. Those women did not know who they were messing with. They didn't have an idea. Hmm. Do you know? I'm still not understanding how you got Namdi to go through all this. Listen, girl, Namdi knows exactly what he wants. <gasps> what do you have over him? It must be major. You know what, girl? If I tell you, then I'll have to kill you. Hey! <laughs> That's all I be. <laughs> yes, sir. Me! You're not keeping secret from me, of all people. Okay, okay, okay. No hey, <laughs> Nani, I know. Uh, wait now. Mm, listen, um, I'll tell you when the time comes, okay? But um, just be rest assured that Nambi may have reluctantly gone into this relationship with me. But in due time, he'll be head over heels in love with me. I show you. Hmm. Yes. Anyhow, Sha, at least you're getting what you want. <laughs> How about that, Chica Babe, Seth? Please, no. I, listen, I don't know and I don't care. I, can you just... Oh my god, girl. Wow. This is so beautiful. Wow. Oh, this is Look beautiful. at this thing, look at the head Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is really nice. Don't you want this? I, I don't know if they have it in store, but I because I'm not ready to start ordering anything. What's their link? Let me check online. Okay, um, um, Lizzie things. Okay. Oh, let me see. 
Wow. And I don't like that one. I think the other one. Okay. This one is good. Yes, cool. it's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> well, girl. Yes, um, you mentioned the chica, right? I think she quits. Yes, because I've not seen her in church in a while. Hopefully, she has changed church. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> hmm. uh, okay, well, I think you go with the first one and call it a day. No, no, no. Are you trying to say that you're, you're tired of this? What is wrong with you? I have an appointment. Oh. Mm. Obviously, you won't marry. No! Stay here, they talk about secretary. Okay. Secretary, no, come and sit here. <laughs> oh my goodness. So why did you quit? Obvious reasons. Listen, Chica, let me explain. There's nothing to explain. And I hope you are giving an hour. What are you talking about? I've never planned on getting you all angry. I never planned to hurt you. I will hate to see the day you cost me pain. If you ever did mean to hurt me. Chica, I love you. How can you stand there and say that? Because it's true, I love you. If it were true, you will you will not be getting married to another woman. You don't understand. I try to explain this to you for for. But, but you're just not getting me right. Then what is it, Nambi? Tell me because I'm not understanding. One minute you're telling me you have the conviction in your heart that if Nana is not the one, and the next minute you're engaged to her. Listen, I do not even love you. Then why are you getting married to her? What? Did you find out she's really pregnant? Help me out here because I'm sure I'm confused. Okay. Oh, listen, 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 Jacob. Jacob, just, just sit down. Let me explain. It's a long story. Just, just sit. To cut the long story short, um, if Naya has been blackmailing me to marry her. Blackmail? Yes. What does she have with you? Oh, Jesus, just give me the strength. I'm guiding to give me the strength. Okay. Now, what do you want me to do? To come out clean and bring the heart of everybody? Not to even mention something I like I don't think so. Hey, I don't believe that you're open here holding hands in some deep conversation. I just came to get the last of my name. Oh, please, don't get it and get out of here, Trump. Hey, do not say that. Don't say that in here. I'm not stopping it. Listen to me and listen carefully. You must leave right now. Leave right now and go back to your fiance so you can beat your behind some more. And listen to me and listen carefully. Next time I see you close to my man, your friend is going to be on. Get out! Stop it, you stop that. Don't God do that! Almighty! Tell me that you're holding my hands. <laughs> Nami, I am not joking here. Just I'm serious. What's going on here? Auntie, good evening, Mama. I just came to get the last of my things and I'm leaving. Oh, get out of here! Get out! Shut up! Shut up! Now listen, let me tell you something. This is the last time you're gonna do this in this place. This is the house of the Lord. Nami, you're truly holding my hands, right? Yes! You're holding me tight, right? Okay, darling, I know what to do. Auntie. Do you want to know all about your sweet angel loving boy? He has so much Hey! Joy. Don't! See! See! Listen! Don't ever say that! In here, out there, or anywhere! Do you hear me? Don't ever say that! And what are you going to do? What am I going to do? Yes! What are you going to do? Hmm? Next time I see that whore around here! Hey! Don't say that word! It is a house ha, of ha, 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 Yes! Ha. Next time I see her around here, it's going to be worse than this! I swear! Oh God! Jesus Christ! You know what? I'm going to church right now to wait on my study. I truly need a word. I truly need it! Is that what you want for a wife? A first lady? Don't even know what you're talking about. What, what are you saying? Please, I don't want to go through this. Especially with you. I am trying to make you responsible. No kind of sex! 
would make you put up Jesus. with that kind of woman. Do not say such words in this place. Yes, I might have gone astray, but I am still a servant of the Lord. Please, Andy, do not say such words. You need Psalm 51. She is giving it to you. Don't say this in Jesus' name. Yeah. Please don't that say that. That's why you are ready to choose a over a woman like Jika. You don't want to hear the word sex. Ah, don't say that, Auntie. You do it Jesus, your work. Jesus, no. You oh, need oh, God, God in your life. He loves it. He just loves it. And yet he doesn't want to talk about Ha! Sex! You need God in your life. You need, you need God more than I do. You love sex. Stop it to one. Day, man. That is your day. Turn, not mine. I know. Mm. 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 Is this really what you want to do? Please. There are, there are people there. Ah, uh, well, not really. <clears throat> but, um, there's someone who really wants to go up to you real quick. Who is that? The woman you should have been with today. Chica is here? Yes. Well, um, she actually asked me to come check if you were alone. Oh, she Okay, go get her. Go get her, please. Just go make her laugh. Okay, huh? I'll just check something. Alright, go. It's just that I'm surprised. Well, I came to convince you one more time that you don't have to do this. You know I love you. You know I do love you. Then don't do this. I love you too. This is killing me, Namdi. You don't have to do this. I'll stand by you till the end. I don't care who you are. Who you are not getting out of the way. Take yourself out of this premises, out of my office right now, out of the sanctuary of God, or else I will curse the word of God on your life. This looks like I'm joking, any of you. Does this look like a joke? Does this look like a joke? <laughs> See right now. Does this seem like a joke? Make your move. He is chilling. Make please. your move. Please. Wait, wait, wait. Please, please. please. I need to be your last. Please, please. Wait, 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 wait. No, please. Such words in my office. Do not use such words in the house of God or else I speak to you, young man. God, God is gonna Wait, kick please. against you. Please, you don't have to do this, please. I'll go with you. I don't have a problem. Shooting a man of God right here. Do you understand me? What is going on here? She doesn't. Get him before I call the Wait, 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 wait. Move out of the way. Hey, no, 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 no. Please, please, please. 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 Please, please.
Please leave them alone. Leave them alone. It is not your battle. It is not your battle. It is not your battle. Just leave them alone, okay? Oh my goodness. You're right. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my Please, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. The thought of just losing you just really taught me a whole lot of lessons in many ways. Please. Please just, just forgive me for all that has happened. I'm sorry for this. Please. That's why all 
the effort of the police to apprehend the conflict. The whole matter proved the point. I'm not 
have answers to that. I was scared. I ran away that night because uh, each day that passes becomes so hard and harder and harder and harder for me to, to, to come out clean. But why didn't you think you could come to us? I was scared of losing your love. I was scared of, I was scared of what I've done. I was scared of going to the jail. I was, I was, I'm ashamed of myself. And I'm devastated over the fact that I was responsible for the death of someone that really loved me the depth of my heart. Devastated at what you've done. But what pains me the most is the fact that you, you did this and you kept it to yourself all these years. You tortured yourself and you didn't even dim it, feet to come and tell me, us. Well, 
I'm also disappointed in myself, so we're all in the same club. We are not judging you because of what you did. We are mad at you. Yes, we are. But we aren't anymore. Because we know that what happened was an accident. You're saved now. You did what you did when you still do the things of the flesh. You know your mother, our sister, won't be happy to see you punish yourself like this. Nandi, the church needs you. I need you. Your wants need you. Reality is that you cannot change what has happened. You can't bring your mother back. But you can give back what you've taken. forgiveness. We drove her to do whatever it was that she did. We are Christians and we should leave by showing good example. Poor girl. All she needs is good guidance. Our children will grow in strength 
and love. And they'll live to know that their parents stayed well. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Nothing ordinary 